Welcome back Santa Fe City Schools. This is your superintendent Jim Hogaboom and I want to wish everybody a great, fantastic, productive school year. I'm actually really bummed that we're not able to have our welcome back event this year where I can greet you all in person, but due to an abundance of caution with COVID, we are, we are putting that on hold and we're also putting some of our PD on hold, but that should give you more time at your school sites. But we had a meeting with our new teachers today and the excitement and energy that they all had for this new school year was so refreshing and palpable. And even though we have to wear masks, we're bringing all of our kids back to school every day and I know that you're all really excited about that. So today I'm here and uh, we all know that there's kind of a strange new normal that we have in schools. Uh, I have five kind of key things that I wanted to talk with you guys about today. The first one is just to say a great big huge fat thank you. You guys were amazing last year in helping us get through the pandemic, switching to hybrid learning. Uh, elementary, we switched two or three times, um, but I really appreciate all that you guys did. People, you are well flexible, adaptable, really caring about kids, reaching out, trying to get kids engaged, learning new technology, um, supporting each other. The committees we had with our teachers to come up with our MOUs and the conditions for our kids was fantastic. Frankly, I think Santa Fe schools came out of this pandemic more united and closer together from the school board uh, to our teacher, to our classified staff. Many, many thanks to our SRFT, SRTA, CSEA, and the leaders, uh, Katina, Mary Kate, Katie, Morgan. You guys are really fantastic to work with and I really appreciate that. So first of all, it's just a big thank you. And, and we do need to celebrate the fact that we brought kids back to school in person here in Marin and in Santa Fe. Uh, better than I think any other place in the United States. So thank you so much. That's the first one. Uh, the second point would be wellness first. Uh, kids can't learn and, and we all know that they're anxious, depressed. There's a lot of stress with our kids and our families and we've got to recognize that. I know a lot of you already reach out to kids to kind of find out what their life is like, how they're doing at home. Those connections that you establish with kids, that means everything, especially right now. This is just an incredibly difficult time. So wellness first, taking care of our kids. I think in my first welcome back rally, I said three things, take care of yourself, take care of each other and take care of kid, our kids. And I, I would still reiterate that. Uh, these are really depressing times. It's a little overwhelming right now with what's going on in the world with climate change and fires and, and all that and just the political divide. So please take care of yourself, get some good exercise, rest up, uh, do what you need to do to take care of yourself first. I would also say that I'm really proud of the investment our district is making in our students. So we've taken a lot of the COVID funds and taken the advice of our budget advisory committee, who basically said the mental health and social emotional safety of our students is most important. So we now have hired extra counselors. So now we have one full-time counselor at every one of our elementary schools. We have three full-time counselors now at Davidson, and uh, we have two newcomer counselors at the high school who I just met this morning and they're fantastic. So we also are opening wellness centers. So with our two high schools and the middle school, we're gonna hire wellness coordinators and outreach specialists to set up a wellness center. Hopefully that'll be coming in January. And also at elementary, we've, we've hired, we're hiring a wellness coordinator as well. So that multi-tiered system of support, really get a system in place, both on the academic side and the behavior side is one of our top priorities for next year. So really excited about our investment in our students and the mental health of, of everybody. Uh, third is to talk a little bit about COVID. So again, I think we were, we were all hoping that we might not have to wear the masks. Here's a Tara Linda mask here, um, but we have to do that to help stop the spread. I appreciate the fact that we live in Marin where people support that. Probably the most important thing that you could do is to get vaccinated. I think we have over 90% of our staff that is vaccinated, but any of you who are not, I urge you to do so. And hopefully our students over 12, uh, we will also be helping our families out with testing and making sure that they can get as much uh, tested as often as possible. There's a few more guidelines that are coming out from Marin Public Health and we'll be getting those out to you guys soon. Um, but you've been adaptable and flexible and frankly our kids are used to wearing masks so they know what that drill is and so I think we're all good with that. 
Uh, fourth is I'm super excited about our Together 2024 Blueprint Plan, uh, which started with our Together 2023 plan, merged with our equity plans and our equity audit. So we have 16 kind of action items that are in there. It's really a three-year strategic plan. And uh, that's the multi-tiered system of support. There's a lot of stuff in there about student voice and how to support them, our EL students, um, academic things that are happening. So really excited uh, to have a plan that we've been working on actually since before I got here. So we'll be getting more of that information out to you and all the school plans are also tied into together 2024. Um, also reiterate our values, which I love, of equity, community, and joy. I think that's what that's what we're all about, and I see that every day, and we definitely see that in our new teachers that we hired. And finally, my last point I would like to leave you with is let's not return to normal. I'm not so sure that normal was that great anyway, and there was so much that we that we did differently and so many innovations that actually were sparked by the pandemic. So I, I encourage all of us to be looking at our grading practice, looking at how we can make our curriculum more meaningful and engaging. This summer we used project-based learning for our high school students and it was super, super well received by our teachers and our students. So learning PBL, uh, but trying new things, trying those innovations so that we can make sure that we grab all of our kids. And uh, so that's what I'd like to leave you on that note is try, continue to try those new things, continue to build those really strong relationships with our kids and with each other. Uh, take care of yourself, go for a good hike outside and be healthy and just really hope that everybody, that we all have a fantastic school year. Thanks so much and I look forward to seeing you out of your school site.